<coughs> let's take a look at the Intel score i7-6700 Skylac processor and compare it with the an year old Haswell E i7-5820K. The Haswell E is a totally different processor. Uh, it's created for enthusiasts and it's typically it could potentially be used in a multi-processor configuration. So <coughs> let's take a look at some of its specifications before we move on to their uh, benchmark numbers. Uh, we have 8 MB cache versus 15 MB cache, almost double for the Haswell E. Haswell E is different from Haswell in terms of the socket, in terms of the pins. The internal processor architecture have the same building blocks, but the outside it's totally different. The Haswell E we have a 22 nanometer and we now have more power efficient 14 nanometer process for Skylac. Uh, the, the most important difference is the, the number of cores. The Skylac 6700 is a, is a quad core processor and the i7-5820 is a hexa core both of them support hyper, th hyper threading the skylac has slight frequency advantage but the number of cores and threads have a more dominating effect in terms of tdp rating to keep the number of the to support the six cores and 12 hyper threads we need substantially better cooling it needs uh, 140 watt uh, thermal solutions and that's where the Haswell's limitations come in and I think we will have to wait to the Skylac E to move it to a higher clock frequency because uh, Skylac's, uh, Skylac's uh, 14 nanometer technology could take it forward Looking at the pass mark numbers, we have 6700 at 10,040 and i7-5820K at around 13,000, so it's about 30% faster than the i7-6700, which may be worth because the price is uh, similarly proportional. We have $303 versus $396 for Haswell E. Though Haswell E motherboard, they are not as as much used as Skylac motherboards. So you will have to spend a little bit extra on the motherboards as well. And also the Haswell E does not come with the integrated graphics and that is to allow the processor to run as fast as it can when the, the, the integrated graphics itself creates some heating by taking out the graphics it's able to provide you more processing power it does not heat in due to the gasty graphics and if you need really good graphics you will need an, ex an extra external graphics card anyway we have a quad memory channel that's one thing that makes also makes as well e faster so with this information i hope it helps you taking a decision whether to make a new system with Haswell E or Skylab and I hope it helps you. Thanks for taking a look.